Hello everybody and welcome back to Broken Brian. And today we're going to be looking at a game that I stumbled upon a little while ago that I want to take a look at with you guys and let you guys know about it because it may be something that you're interested in. And because it looks very interesting to me. It's called My Time at Evershine. Now, I think this might be a really good game. And the reason I come to think that is that the campaign for this Kickstarter launched three days ago with a goal of $200,000 and is now at $1.2 million. That's 600% of its goal. So, I mean, that seems like a lot of people are interested in it and it looks interesting. So, let's actually go over to YouTube and take a look at the trailer because it's very interesting. Give it a minute. Uh, first little bit is like a lot of different cutscenes put together and then I'll start to show you everything and then I'll kind of explain what we're seeing and kind of what I think this game's going to end up being and having in it. So let's take a look. It definitely has a touch of modern and ancient styles. So that makes you think of Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild right there. So this game looks like several things put together in one. You've got your Tears of the Kingdom style world that, you know, you're running around, you're doing things. Also, the, your sandbox simulation style, kind of like um, Stardew, Valley, Stardew Valley, where you've got to create, build, construct things, and that's that's in there as well plus it looks like you're going to have some romance storylines where based on your character different love stories love interests familial familial stories and things like that and it's got that kind of weird final fantasy mix like futuristic yet ancient and kind of mixed between so it's got a lot of different elements to it that make it familiar in multiple ways yet when it's combined definitely feels new and different and i do think this is a game that will be very intriguing and very interesting to get our hands on and i mean at this point if you want to back it that's great come over here to kickstarter look i mean it's going up as we're talking more people are backing the project and 35 minutes it reaches golden 35 minutes that's crazy that's just insane i mean people are really excited about this game and it's got a bunch of these goals that they're trying to get and right now it looks like it's going to be exclusive to steam 
But when you hit such a huge goal, I wouldn't be surprised if we see digital copies uh, released to other platforms like Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. But this is definitely an intriguing game with so many different elements put together that just take a lot of inspiration from different places and different things. It looks just really cool. So, you know, you've got your romances, you got characters, list of the characters, and there's a lot to dive down into. And I, I really do think this just looks like an absolute fun game for those that like these open world RPGs or these simulation games. I mean, it kind of appeals to so many different types and fan bases. It, it's because it does that, it's such a unique game at this point in time. We may see more like this in the future. Who knows? But I'm I'm truly very intrigued by this RPG game, and like I said, that's a good that's a good cozy simulation RPG space. That's a pretty good <laughs> that's a good description of it. I couldn't think of what to call it, but I mean, this looks like it's going to appeal to a lot of different people for a lot of different reasons. And you know, getting fully funded in under thirty five minutes. I mean, that's crazy. So a lot of people are excited about games like this. I am. And this is one of those things I'm like, well, I do plan on backing a few indie games this year just because I want these indie studios to keep doing what they're doing. And But this one's doing so well. Personally, I'm not going to back this one. Not to say I will purchase it when released, but um, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, there will be console. Okay, the Steam code. I was just seeing if it had more dates, but I, I was looking earlier and didn't see like specific dates, release dates, but um, but we'll see. Just I'll just click over and click, see if it says like sometimes when you click back this project, it'll give you a time frame. Um, yeah, May 2026. So it's it's like some of these back, some of these Kickstarter games that are being backed. It's going to be a while. The one I'm looking at backing next, well, first, it it has an August 2026 release date. So some of these games, I mean, they're at least a year off even from this time, and it's very cool. So May 2026 is when we'll see this game. Should see this game. Um, seeing as they're fully funded and then some, not a problem. They should have enough time to hire enough programmers and staff to fully get this game to market and well done. I'm excited. I don't know when they're going to release a demo. And if they do release a demo, I will download it, show you guys and play it. But I'm very intrigued by this game. It just looks so good. And... If you guys, if this is your thing, please come support this game, back this game. If it's not, don't worry about it. But this is just a unique game that I just kind of came across, and I just just felt like I just needed to share it, because this I'm just so excited about these indie games that are RPGs that I can get my hands on eventually, and this just looks like so much fun. So let me know what you think down below, and I just truly hope we get more games like this that continue to uh, be creative and be passion projects for us gamers and just games we can truly enjoy. So until next time, my friends, as always, I love you all and there's nothing you can do about it.